David Carnoy, executive editor for CNET.com, and I'm here with Al DeLeon of the PlayStation team, and he's got the PSP Go. It's an early unit. Uh, we actually have the Empire State Building in the background, very exciting, but the real action here is the PSP Go. Um, Al, if you could just tell us uh, a little bit about it. This is the new PSP Go, and it's launching October 1st. And as you can see, it's significantly smaller than the current PSP, the PSP 3000. And uh, the best feature, actually, from a design perspective, is the sliding screen. So you slide the screen up, and it reveals the D-pad, the analog stick, all of the face buttons. That it includes 16 gigabytes of internal flash memory. So there's no more disk drive, no more UMDs for the PSP Go. And there's also a memory stick micro slot here where you can expand uh, the amount of storage you have for storing games, photos, music, and videos. So up to 32 gigabytes. It also offers Bluetooth support, so that opens up a lot of opportunity for us to offer new peripherals and accessories. And you'll certainly see things like a Bluetooth headset, for example, which you can use for Skype. At the top here, you have your volume controls. You have the display button for uh, using video out as well as for changing the brightness of the screen. And then you also have a, a mute button here and then the two shoulder buttons, which would be familiar to any PSP user. We see the clock application on the screen right now. Do you see this opening up a lot more uh, like the iPhone, having more developers, more applications that are not just games? One thing we did announce at E3 was a significant reduction in the dev tools for the development tools for PSP. So the goal with that is really to enable all sorts of developers to be able to um, develop content for the PSP. And you know, it will mostly be games, but there's certainly an opportunity to look at some non-gaming applications. For your daily dose of tech news, check out CNET's Loaded. It's packed full of the latest tech news highlights that matter to you. Find out the latest gadgets or the coolest gizmos. All that and more Monday through Thursday at CNET.com slash loaded.